Who are the best coach and quarterback combos in college football? Dan Mullen and Dak Prescott are fifth in the list. Auburn's Gus Malzahn and Jeremy Johnson are fourth. Mark D'Antonio and Connor Cook are third. Gary Patterson and Trayvon Boykin are second. And the top combo in college football, Urban Meyer and his three quarterbacks, Barrett Jones and Miller at Ohio State. Ray Crawford here with our associate editor, Rich Sermonillo. He authored the 15 for 15 best quarterback and coach combinations on the website here, Campus Insiders. Uh, it's a good problem to have. That's what you hear from coaches when they say they have too many quarterbacks. But I think the question, though, is could this log jam in Columbus, though, Rich, actually hurt the Buckeyes' chances of repeating as national champs? I, I think it's a good question, Ray, one that very few people have posed this offseason. Obviously, you have the depth, you have the talent. That's not a problem on the field. But these three talented quarterbacks have never during their careers had to look over their shoulder. So whoever gets the start, every pass, every incompletion, every interception is going to be highly scrutinized. That's something these guys haven't had to deal with. And the other question is, what does that locker room look like once a starter is named? Are there factions developing, particularly in the direction of Braxton Miller? He's the beloved senior, the kid coming back from shoulder surgery. If he's not the guy, are there upperclassmen that are just a little bit prickly in that uh, locker room? That, those are a couple of things that really need to be watched. Uh, situation Meyer's going to have to navigate for sure. Who on your list could surprise, though, and move up? Thought long and hard about moving up Oklahoma higher, Ray. Right now, I have them at number 13. We know that Bob Stoops is one of the 10 or so best coaches in the country, but his quarterback situation has been tenuous over the past couple of years. I think they've solved that with Baker Mayfield, Texas Tech transfer, now eligible in 2015. He's an air raid aficionado. He's got the right offensive coordinator in Lincoln Riley, who comes over from East Carolina. So. Riley plus Mayfield, that could address some of the problems that Oklahoma has had behind center. I think it'll be interesting to see what happens at USC. I think they may surprise. Third-year quarterback there and Cody Kessler, former quarterback and head coach Steve Sarkeesian, and the real high expectations for the Trojans as well. All right, Rich, great list. Thanks. Thanks, Ray. For the entire 15 for 15 list, check out the article as well as other lists for the upcoming season only on CampusInsiders.com.